Ho, ho. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hey guys, it's me, your buddy Devin. Hear that music? My neighborhood is having a party to celebrate tonight's camp out. But this is the music I feel like playing. <sighs> hey! There. Seriously? Hey, I can't hear my sad music over your happy music. They can be happy if they want to, but I'm being sad. I was happy. I was so excited about tonight's camp out. But now my friend Jacoby can't come. I don't want to go if my friend isn't going. We worked so hard to make this camp out awesome. Who? Who? Hello, Devin. Who? Who? Is something wrong with you? I'm sad because my friend Jacoby can't come to tonight's camp out. It won't be any fun without him. Missing your friend is hard. That's true. But there is someone who is always with you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Don't get treats if you whine. No. Oh, uh-oh. Our friends are here, Stormy. Hi, everyone. I'm Carrie the Dog Walker, and this is my normally very happy dog, Stormy Jane, but she is very grumbly today. She wants more treats, but I told her she can't have them until she's done whining. Do you ever whine about things? Like when you're asking for a snack? or when someone else is playing with a toy you want? Well, there's a story in the Bible about a time when God's people were whining. Maybe if we tell it to Stormy, it might change her attitude. Let's try. So God's people were led by a man named Moses. They had been walking for a very long time in the desert, and it was very hot, and they started to whine and complain. We're thirsty, they said. And they whined and complained some more. Why did you bring us here? And more whining and complaining. Stop whining, said Moses. Don't you remember that God's got it? We'll be okay. But the people had forgotten. They thought God didn't care about them anymore. Now you tell me, do you think God still cared about the people? Of course, and even though they forgot, do you think God still got it? Of course. Moses went out in front of the people and God told him to strike the big rock with his stick and out came water. Everyone got a drink and felt much better after that. Three cheers for God. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Feeling better, Stormy? <laughs> Yay, good girl. See you guys next time. Here's your tree. So there's your story, and it's all true. God was with Moses and his people, and God is with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? God's people whined and complained because they forgot that God always takes care of us. Always. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I don't want to want to complain when I know God's got it. He's got this camp out, and he's got whatever you're worried about, too. I'm coming down, guys. Save me a marshmallow.